Thank you so much, Hamish. Well, I tell you what, Sam Doherty, it's a big night, isn't it, when one of your best mates wins the Brownlow medal? Yeah, it is. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's been a, as you can probably tell behind us, there's a pretty exciting table here and, um, oh, it's one of, one of my great mates in Cripper and we've been together through a, a hell of a lot of tough stuff and um, to see him up there tonight, it's, it's pretty emotional and it's, um, it's a reward of uh, a lot of years of effort and I'm, I'm bloody proud of him as a mate and as a teammate to be able to see him up there um, winning this award tonight. We said it at the opening of the night that he really has worn, you know, the, the, the difficulties of the team on his shoulders, really hard, he's worn that, um, but now he's got some help there, hasn't he? And so he is just playing some great football. Yeah, there, there's the double. There's the, if you know Cripper, you know how invested he is and you know how passionate he is about our footy club and that's probably why you see how hard he's taken it over the last few years. We haven't been the best side and um, unfortunately for that, it's, he's had to wear a fair brunt of it. And um, To see him go out this year and I'll be honest, we've been, we've been counting the votes for the whole night and to see him, uh, we knew he'd be up early and we thought we'd, st we'd hope he'd steal a couple during the middle and... Um, Towards the back end of the round, it's um, it's just he's an incredible player, he's an incredible mate, and um, we're all stoked for him as a as a whole footy club. I know there's a lot of boys that are probably sitting at home from our footy club that are, are pretty excited, probably throwing their suits on now, trying to run the crown. But <laughs> it's uh, it's yeah, I, I haven't been too many nights with him like this. He's a tremendous captain, but he's been, I assume, a dear friend to you with all of your health battles as well. Yeah, he has, and oh, no, he's he's one of my uh, my best men in my wedding. I didn't. I wouldn't dis disclude him from that. He's, um, he's, he's been an incredible friend through in incredible tough times for me and, and I guess from everyone that's listening at home, he's exactly what you see, is what you get. And he's, uh, he's a great country bloke that cares a lot about his friends and a lot about his footy club and um, we see every part of that and I, I hope that everyone's um, enjoying the fact that he's won the Brownlow tonight and I think they would be because he's, he's an incredible bloke and he's a incredible player. So... Um, we're going to go off and enjoy the night and I hope that everyone else does. So um, I didn't expect to be doing this interview. So, <laughs> You're so, doing well. No, I'm You're OK, doing so thank well, you. Sam. One final question. I know round 23 was really difficult against the Pies, but you have got a lot to look forward to. Yeah, we do. We got, we, we've got a, we got a really good um, list that's come under Vossi in, in one year and um, have improved ourselves pretty well. So um, obviously the back end of the year, the, the Melbourne and the Collingwood game hurt a fair bit, but... Um, we're pretty optimistic about where our future lies with the with the talent we've got and the and the game plan that we've got that we've um, we'll be able to take it pretty far next year. So pretty disappointed watching the finals and the grand final and all the boys watching it and playing it this year. So um, hopefully we're there next year. I really appreciate your time. Good luck with next season, the Carlton Football Club. The Carlton fans have got smiles on their faces tonight with Patrick Cripps, the Brownlow medalist for 2022.